Hi everyone, I hope you're okay. So today I thought I'd go through my current kind of go-to hairstyle. I've had a few requests to do this on Instagram. So I thought that I would show how I've been curling my hair recently, the hair tools I've been using and the products. Um, and yeah, and I also thought we could have a bit of a chat because we've not had, I've not done like a chatty uh, video for quite some time. And you may have noticed that I have changed my name on YouTube. I changed my name on Instagram and my blog a few weeks ago. Um, and I finally decided to do YouTube, which is one of those things that's like on my list. Finally did it. And so yeah, so I thought we'd have a bit of a chat about that and why I decided to like change my name and all that kind of thing. So yeah, so we're just going to get straight on into it. First things first, before I start curling my hair, I am going to pop some dry shampoo in because my hair is looking this morning um i just got like some fluff in my hair <laughs> there you go i feel like my hair this morning is looking a little bit um i don't want to say greasy but you know when it's just like it's kind of starting to need a wash i don't know if it's better to put my mirror here actually yeah, I feel like that might be slightly better because at least I'm a bit more forward. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put some dry shampoo in. I, I washed my hair, not last night, the night before last. But I'm feeling like, I don't know whether I'm going to have to start washing it every day. Like, especially now that it's shorter. Um, I don't know, if anyone knows of any good, like, clarifying shampoos, let me know. Because maybe it's the fact that I'm not using, like, a very good cleansing shampoo. But, um... Yeah, I don't really want to wash it every day because it's not good, is it, for it? But anyways, um, so yeah, so I'm going to use some dry shampoo and this is from IGK. This is the Direct Flight Multitasking Dry Shampoo. Um, it's really nice. It doesn't make your hair feel too chalky. I try to not use too much dry shampoo these days because I feel like um, I use it so much for so many years that it's almost... I don't know, I feel like it just doesn't do a very, like it doesn't feel very nice in my hair. So yeah, I try to not use it too much if I can. And what I do is I just literally lift the hair up into the roots. Um, and sometimes what I do is I will do this and then like do my makeup and kind of let it warm up and then kind of massage it in. I watched a really good IGTV video of this woman who she puts it in lets it warms up and then she kind of blow dries it out um so yeah so that's a really good tip like it doesn't even take that it takes about five minutes as well but i'm not going to do that today just going to give it a bit of a and i don't think that dry shampoo is too great either so that is good and then just gonna brush my hair Okay, so the kind of style that I'm going for is kind of just loose waves. Um, there's really like nothing special to it at all. It's not really like an amazing technique or anything. But this is the hair talk. Like I absolutely love watching these kind of videos because I'm always like, oh, I wonder how they do their hair. Um, so this is the tool I use. It's from Amazon. It was super cheap and it's by the brand A Body. Um, basically, if you type in curling wand into Amazon or curling tongs, this is what will come up. Um, so yeah, I think this is the 32 millimeters. I will link the exact one down below so you can have a look. But yeah, it was 20 pounds, super cheap, and it also works across the world. So I got this a few days before I went to Canada. Um, took it with me to Canada, worked in New York, worked in England. So yeah, it's a really handy like tool to have for so cheap too. And I just feel like it gives a really nice wave in my hair. I've been wanting to invest in a slightly kind of more um I don't know what the right word is like a like high end I don't know kind of hair tool been looking at the GHD soft curl or the T3 curling irons um what well, not curling irons curling ones um but they're quite expensive and I just think right now I'm kind of happy with what I've got so yeah this is quite nice and cheap cheap and cheerful I think this is the 32 millimeter um which is like a good all rounder so you basically shove it on and then you choose which temperature you want it to and i tend to pop it to 190 and then it just starts heating up straight away and it literally like counts up it takes about a minute which i don't think is too bad at all um whilst i'm waiting for it to heat up i'm going to separate my hair because it always start with the bottom layer first okay so i've separated my hair i don't really do anything like in particular um, just find it just works easier this way. My hair is really, really thick. 
which just so strange myself which obviously is like a good thing and um, but I've noticed it ever since I kind of cut my hair that how thick it is <laughs> like it is crazy um so yeah so I tend with the bottom layer to not be too kind of particular about it um, but what I kind of just do is just take it bit by bit and just curl it. I have tried using this as like a wand because that's how a lot of the YouTubers and Instagrammers that I've been watching use their hair tools but I just can't get the hang of it um, and a lot of them do it so it's like pointing downwards and at the back and um, I was having a go at doing that the other day and I burnt my thumb so I'm a bit like not too sure but what I try to do is um, just take it away from my face which takes a little bit of, I feel like I haven't got very good like coordination because it always takes me a little while to like think about it but yeah I just do the curls away so yes I'm just going to kind of do this I just kind of hold it in for like a few seconds and then move on to the next one so um whilst I'm doing that I thought we could quickly chat so as I kind of mentioned in the intro I have changed my name so I've gone from uh, Digi Brunette Free to Cory Bromfield which is like my full name and um I have been thinking about doing this for a very long time I've never really um liked the name Dizzy Brunette Free always found it a bit cringy um and I started my blog oh my god what was wrong with me um I started my blog 10 years ago now and I started on YouTube about eight years ago um and obviously a very different person to who I was back then I definitely feel like Dizzy Brunette kind of suited me back then um but you know I'm approaching 30 I'm married I kind of just feel like it didn't really resonate with me anymore and I just kind of felt like I needed a change you know I've been blogging for 10 years there's so many bloggers around these days that I feel like it's quite hard to stand out and it's quite easy to get forgotten about um, so yeah, I just kind of felt like I wanted a bit of a change. I've kind of been up and down whether it was the right thing to do, but I do think that it, you know, ultimately it was because I have been wanting to do it for so long. Um, which is going to go on to the other side. And I have had some like really nice comments and messages about it. Um, like I think the world of social media is just a really funny world at the moment and I feel like it's very fickle. Um, but like I didn't know I did it and then I lost like a load of followers not that I'm doing it for the followers but it was a little bit like oh great um but I don't know it's it's one of those things but I'm happy I definitely feel like I don't feel as like restricted with stuff and I'm kind of like excited to create content so I think that is the main thing and you know I do feel a bit sad because you know obviously uh Digi Brunette Free was my online name for you know like 10 years it's you know been with me for like my basically the whole of my 20s but I do think that change is good and sometimes you kind of need to get out of your comfort zone so um yeah um I'm hoping to upload more like I know I probably I go through phases of saying this and then I don't but I am trying to upload more and I'm just gonna not put too much pressure on myself um so yeah let me know what kind of videos you want to see I kind of want to take it back to like old school vibes um like you know like the tag videos and just the kind of sitting and chatting about things those are my kind of favorite videos to watch and I also want to do like style videos and stuff like that so um yeah let me know if you do have any requests if there's anything you'd like to see but hopefully you know it'll be a good thing like I definitely want to invest in more like studio lighting um and stuff like that so we'll see how it goes so i hope you are all doing okay and keeping safe uh i'm not going to talk about what's going on at the moment just because um i am personally turning to likes of youtube and instagram for escapism at the moment and i don't think there's really anything that i can really say that's going to really help um, apart from you know the obvious of you know keeping safe staying at home washing your hands all that kind of stuff um but yeah like this is just kind of escapism and if you're like me I'm just trying to avoid like the news and stuff at the moment for the just the sake of my mental health um so yes yeah, so I hope you're all doing okay I want to try and get some videos up during this time to hopefully give you a little bit to watch so you know like I said if you do have any requests please do let me know but I feel like I've not done a proper chatty video in ages, definitely before Christmas, probably. Um, I know I put up a fitness haul the other day, but I feel like that wasn't really like chatting 101. I don't know what 101 was. But um, 
yeah, just thought it would be a good way to like sit down. But um, yeah, I'm really liking having shorter hair. I feel a lot more like me, which is weird because it's not like I've ever had it before, but it definitely feels like a lot more like me and I just feel like it suits my outfits better. And I just really, really like it. Um, it's, it's weird. It's, it's, I don't know if anyone else has ever had that before where you kind of just feel more like yourself even though you've never had it before. But um, yeah, I'm really, really enjoying it and I definitely don't regret it for like one second. Um, in fact, like I even, I keep wanting to, like I've gone shorter since like the last time we've, I did like what I first posted, like in Canada, I've gone shorter since then. And I think in like when this is all over and I can get to hairdressers again, like I want to go shorter again. So um, yeah, if you're ever thinking about it and you're like been on the fence, just do it. <laughs> but I think these hair tongs are really good actually. Like when I ordered them on Amazon, I wasn't sure how good they were going to be. I was like, oh, they're only 20 quid. Are they going to be rubbish? But I feel like they've lasted me, you know, they've they've done a really good job. Um, I think it's great the fact that they've worked in different countries because that's really hard to find in hair tools sometimes. And um, yeah, I just think that it's a really good, like, cheap hair tongs. Because, like, I just never seem to get on with hair ones. Like I said, I don't know if I'm just, like, not very coordinated enough. But also I like to multitask. So like with a tongue, you can at least put your hair in a tongue and then you can like look on your phone and stuff. Well, she can't do that with a wand, so. On to the front section. And I'm just gonna do what I've been doing the whole time. I've just literally taken it away from my face. There is no technique to this. It's literally just curling away from my face. Um, and then I'll show you what I do once it's all done in a second. And then once it's done, I just tend to bring it all to the front and I usually am able to find a few bits that I have missed or just isn't particularly well curled. So I'll just go back in and redo them. To be fair, you could, I feel like, especially with like you when you've got shorter hair, you could kind of just do random pieces and then having to do like the whole lot and you'd still kind of get that effect. That's what I do when I'm feeling a little bit lazy. I've had a few messages asking if I'm still using my rollers and I'm not. Um, to be fair, I hadn't been using my rollers even when I had long hair just because um, my beloved Remington and Enrapture rollers have like bit the dust. Um, and I've been using some Babyliss rollers which are great. They're a great budget option but they just take a long time to heat up. And I usually found by the time that I thought about using them, I wouldn't have had enough time to have had them to warm up. So that's kind of why I didn't really use them anymore because they were just a bit of a faff. Um, I've not actually tried them in short hair. I might try them and see what it looks like. I don't know if it'll work or not. But um, yeah, to be fair, like I haven't been using them. Like my, if you remember back in the day when I used to love my Enrapture rollers, they used to heat up so quickly. They were amazing. But um, yeah, like I still get messages from people saying, oh, I remember, um, I I bought those rollers too. Like it's it's so funny. Like, I don't know, it's, it's nice, but it just feels like a different lifetime ago now. It's, well, it's like about, I don't know, eight, seven years ago, mad. I'm gonna pop in some hairspray. This is the Lee Stafford Hairspray Stronghold. Oh my God almost drop that and I just spray my hair and then just kind of leave it I kind of leave it to cool so what I kind of tend to do now is like this would be the point where I'd go and get dressed um so I'm just gonna leave it a few seconds might just sweat out my part in Right, what we're going to do now is just take your brush and you're just going to very gently brush through the curls. I feel like this just gives you a really nice kind of wave. I never used to brush through my curls, you know. So don't use this. I don't use this all the time, but um, I'm gonna, when I do, this is the Way Hair Care Texturizing Hairspray. And this is kind of like a hairspray and texture spray. And I just kind of like, very sparingly, give it a bit of a spray through. 
And then I use the Colour Wow Extra Mystical Shine Spray. This is really good on like straight hairstyles. And then finally I use the Way Hair Care Rose Hair and Body Oil. I just take a really small pump and just put that through the end just to kind of calm any flyaways. Sometimes I feel like my hair can look a little bit dry on the end, especially after I've curled it. So just as kind of... But yeah, there we have it. There is how I curl my hair at the moment. Super, super basic. No special technique or anything. Just curling it and then brushing it. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is kind of like what I've been doing at the moment. And yeah, let me know if you enjoyed it. Um, maybe don't if you don't. Um, but let me know if there's any other videos you'd like to see as I've been more than happy to get them filmed over the next coming weeks. And yeah, I hope you're doing really well. And um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you never miss an upload. And to also give the video a like too if you did enjoy it. Um, I'll pop all my links down below to like my Instagram and blog and stuff if you want to check them out. And um, yeah, I will see you very soon in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.